One of the oldest and probably most dramatic video effects with lasers is the tunnel, the tunnel of light. It's used in a lot of movies uh, to represent black holes and a lot of other things. And it's rather easy to create. In a smoke-filled room, you see the smoke in the laser beam. You start off with a motor with a mirror on it. And in this device, I've just connected a motor to a little battery pack, a little on-off switch. Got it hot glued in place. And mounted on that motor, there's a small little mirror. The key to that mirror is that it's not flat to the motor. It's at a small angle. The bigger the angle, the bigger the circle that is created. So that when you turn the motor on, it spins at an angle. So you get it positioned so that the laser hits the mirror and bounces off and doesn't come back and hit the laser. That's the big thing you worry about. When you turn it on, there's the effect. Very simple to do, but very dramatic. And as the smoke gets blown in, especially if you've got partial smoke, partial clean air, and you get the swirling movement. Now the next kind of effect involves two motors. Exactly the same. Now this is a different setup, so they look slightly different. And the black thing is a little laser module. And it's striking the first mirror, which is a very small mirror, at a very small angle. And when it reflects off of that mirror, it hits a second mirror that's mounted on a second motor. This is called a Le Jusée pattern device, and it's a rather complicated uh, addition of two orbital harmonic frequencies. But it's aligned so that the light from the first mirror bounces and hits the second mirror, and then when it comes off of the second mirror, it goes off onto uh, the air or to a screen. So we put a little smoke in the air, and you can see it hitting the first mirror, coming off and hitting the second mirror. And when you shine it onto a screen, you get a circle from one. And when you combine it with a second motor, turn the second motor on, you get more complicated, uh, basically, spirograph patterns. And this is a neat effect. There exists a device that you can find. I got mine at Spencer's Gifts that has this device all in one little handheld device, put the batteries in it, you can turn on a laser, and then there's two spinning mirrors. And you can control the on-off switch, and you can control the speed of the first m mirror and the direction, and the speed of the second mirror and its direction. And then when you take that device, you shine it onto a wall, you can get a vast array of patterns, and that vast array of patterns depends on the relative velocity of the two spinning mirrors. If you change it, you change the pattern. Now when you look at this uh, on a video, you see little gaps in there because of the way the video captures the image. But if you were to look at this in your eyes, you would see a solid image, a solid triangle in this case. If you blow smoke into this pattern, you get a triangular tunnel in the air. And if that tunnel is coming towards you, it's the same kind of effect, only shape. Once again, you're getting a strobe. This is a lot of fun. Try it with a green laser. See what you get. Good luck.